Na, dann übersetzen wir uns mal eins. Was haben wir denn hier zur Auswahl? Ähm, Stolz, Wut, Liebe, Frustration, also Ärger, Sorge und Pity. Ähm, schade. Oh, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Hmm. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. Peter, I'm beginning to sense Gamora. This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family. with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You you can sense Drax, but Drax is dead. I can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? Na, nehmen wir mal Stolz. because of you, Peter. This is my hour of honor. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. Please keep trying. You're doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? Stolz, der Wahnsinn, heroisch und okay. enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Hey, I was surrounded by a door. Hey, I was surrounded by a door and fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. It 
it seems you have many cheerful emotions towards Rocket. Nein. Drax the Destroyer has purpose once again. Yes. Drax is back. If Drax is somehow still out there, your feelings can lead us to him. Thanos is gone. You must be very close to Gamora. You've shown many positive emotions for her. Nee, wir latschen zu Drax. Das ist nämlich der einzige, der sich hier wirklich um uns bemüht hat. Äh, das war Drax hier, oder? Oder ist das Rocket? Ach, es war Rocket. Das ist die Brüche. Das macht Sinn. Rocket's been here the whole time. In spite of everything you've been through, Rocket cares about you a great deal. He must really value your friendship to remain at your side. I'm glad he stuck around. He's a good friend. I suspect that is why he stayed. He knows how well you two get along. How much you need each other. So we found Rocket. What now? There are other bridges that you've built. You should see what's on the other side. What does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! Oh no. Drax! Oh god, I feel terrible. We all thought Drax was dead. We may have assumed too quickly. Oops. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. Na, wird ja nicht mehr viel übrig. Gummy. And I know this place. I've been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? We all created the Guardians because none of us had anywhere else to go. This is the only place Gamora could think to return to. She might have unresolved feelings attached to this place. Rocket stayed with us, so that island will probably show us the Milano. 
I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can. Uh, thanks. Guess I'll take that as a compliment. You should, because you are so emotionally inept. Yeah, I get it, Mantis. Thank you for clearing that up. So, I guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? Drax. Let's go grab Drax. Let's go. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You! You did- That worm was- That was- You came out of it! Like you were inside it, and then you- You came out? That's amazing! You doubted me, Peter Quill? <sighs> you have no idea how relieved I am. I mean, I thought I'd never see you again. Yes, the reasonable conclusion when I leapt from the ship would be that I perished. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. Revenge doesn't bring you happiness. It just delays the pain a while. It's about what you want, not what you need. That is incredibly wise. I am not used to hearing such wisdom from you, Peter. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kamaria. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I don't think that's true at all. Your memories of your family will last forever. Kamaria will always be a part of you. That is impossible. She is not a part of me. She is dead! <sighs> I am not used to being afraid of anything. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try. For someone who says he wants to die, you suck at it. Look, like, I don't know what to tell you, Drax. Maybe, uh, maybe you're just invincible. Of course. I must be invincible. This only makes things worse. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family... The Forge hasn't been destroyed. We can get it back, and you can see Kamaria again. You know, with... without dying. Yes. That would give me a reason to not be dead. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. 
Hey, guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. Hey, it might be a garbage heap, but it's our garbage heap. <laughs> Most of that garbage is yours, Peter. Expecting any calls today? Star Lord, you must know why I am contacting you. Admit it. Admit what you have done. Uh, sorry. I don't recognize this number. Who is this? Ugh, you know who this is. Hala, the accuser. You have taken Baldin hostage, and I want him back. I do not know how you did it, but I want him back, now! I want the Eternity Forge back in my hands. You return that to me, you get your son. You think I will just forfeit it to you? Absolutely not. Mother! Well, look who it is. Please, Mother. Just do as they ask. What are you planning to do with him? If you harm him, in any way, I will repay it one thousandfold to you. Well, that all depends on you. If you don't want anything bad to happen to your son... No one threatens me! I just did. You are the most infuriating person I have ever encountered. I have always heard of the insolence of human beings. But meeting them in person is infinitely worse. Yeah, I get that a lot. I am coming for you. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you to run to. She hung up on me. I can't believe she hung up on me. You're unbelievable, Quill. It seems you possess a unique ability. I've never seen anyone annoy my mother so much before. I fear she cannot be stopped. Yeah, not gonna lie. That conversation could have gone better. You think? If she's coming from nowhere, we've got a hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? Then what are you gonna say? I'm sure I'll think of something in a moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. I'm sorry, are, are you threatening me? Not a threat. A promise. Ah! Whoa! You said you'd keep everyone together! Hala is more powerful than ever. Drax isn't dead! What? <sighs> Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? Look, promise not to lop anything off, and I'll talk. How did he survive? He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not! He killed that space worm, and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. 
Drax is back to his, well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What? Ah! I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. I thought you'd be happy. I am happy. Are you sure? You're yelling. <laughs> it's just... So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something. Anything. You're asking if I feel bad? Of course I feel bad. Then why won't you show it? Hey, what do you want from me? You want me to wander around crying? That isn't my style, Gamora. You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. You were as much of a victim as Nebula was. But Thanos is to blame. Not you. Thanos may have given the order, but the blade was in my hand. Rocket pushes people away to hide his pain. Drax revels in his rage. But I don't know how to get past it. All the lives I've ruined. I've hurt so many people. Despicable acts I did to serve Thanos. You haven't hurt me, Gamora. Ever. Everyone that gets close to me winds up hurt. If I go back with you, I'll just make it worse. I don't even know why you bothered coming here. Because you're the only one on the Milano who doesn't drive me completely insane. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Gamora, you're my best friend. I don't want to lose you. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl. Unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You're the strongest person I know. You're not that little girl anymore. Right. You're right. Nun haben sie schon. Meine Fresse. Boah, sie kommt ja sogar dir dichter. Nur umarm sie. Was ein Trottel. Nur umarm. Bisschen trösten. Mehr nicht. Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it. I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. <laughs> How we laughed at his pain. <laughs> nice one, dude. Yes, watching someone suffer is hilarious. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Thanks, guys. For coming back. I know we've all been through a hell of a lot together. Now, I wish I had better news for you, but, uh, 
Things have turned into a galactic war zone out there. Yes. Hala has begun killing innocent people to resurrect her army. And she's coming after us next. Hala has the Forge, her son, and an unlimited army. Yet she still considers us a threat? Actually, that's... that's a long story. Valden, come say hi. Hello. You have taken her son prisoner! <laughs> you are not the pathetic warrior I so often think you to be. Valdin is here to help us. He's a good guy. He promised to play bait for us to lure out Hala. Whatever stops her from what she's about to do. The killing. It can't go on like this. This does give us emotional leverage. But we still have not gained any tactical advantage since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Uh. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's got to be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hala's ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Flattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Check Rocket to come up with a plan. Machen wir auch. Allerdings erst im nächsten Video. Bis gleich.